Okay, it's rolling. Let's see, Manila, right? Manila Road, that's what we call, right? Everybody's wondering what is this? This is Lubid. This is the only Filipino wrestling weapon, you know, to use, right? So to, uh, to release this from the ways, because, you know, we would run after the animal. You have to pick up one side. You cannot pick up from here. You gotta pick it up from here and swing it. That's gonna be swing. See that? Come out from here. It's up to me. You know, if I go high, go high or go low. You see, come back. And that's what, you know, come up, right? So most of the time, this weapon is used for the animal when I go to the ground, rustling the animal, I just tie it up. And then from there, tie it up one shot and the animal can't go no more, right? Because this one right here is to stop the whole process. There's no one going nowhere, you see? So the same way when you use it in self-defense, it would never go nowhere, you know? So it's a very good arts, very good tools. What I want to uh, to show you is how to use it in uh, daily life. You know, you know whether using a scarf, you know, uh, uh, another type of, uh, you know, another type of uh, flexible weapon. So, but this is Manila. You know, I would like to keep it called Lubid, but you know, everybody says what is Lubid, but when I say it's Manila, everybody knows Manila rope. You know, which is credited for the uh, the oldest, you know, rope that they use in shipment, uh, shipping, you know. Remember uh, Captain Cook from uh, Britain? This is what, he, he's the one who named them, become Manila rope, because it came from Manila. Manila is one of the famous in it. Manila itself is named after this rope. My, Manila, it means hemp. So that's what it's for. So this is the releasing. This is the releasing. And then from there, self-defense wise, this is, you can use it this way, single hook. You know, when you use it, this one, you know, this is a single hook right here. So when you, when you come up, you just tie it up. Single loop, I mean, I'm single loop. You know, sometimes we use it hold like this. So when we cut the animal, with this neck, all I need to do is turn and tie. You know, so it's not, it's not so, it's not so hard, but it requires skill and ability to hold the animal while you're using this. So if you use it a human, it's very simple, right? So it's like, uh, let me borrow a uh, person. If I use it this way, you throw a punch coming in. I use it right here. Look at that turn. It's just simple enough for me to turn the person to the ground. You see. And not knowing that the rope would be landing like this, even though I'm holding it one, you know, it's, it's already there. Now, if he does something stupidly, you know, I would go right here and then one of them will be picked up. And like I said, once you rope it right here, it's done. <laughs> you know, it's, it, it's nowhere, no, no, because it, it's not going to come out. You see how, how, the, how this rope is, the one tied right here, that's it, it's not going out. It's, it's tight. <laughs> so, and when you when you put it right here, it's the same way. Look, it's hold it. You see that? Before he can do anything, I already look the whole thing. Just take down the ground and look. It's how simple it is. And they just hold it right here, and that is choking. And the more he hold the rope, the more he get tied up. Yeah. So. One thing that you guys have to realize is when you make this loop right here, see there's one loop. And when you came up, and I just step back right here, and shot, you see? And there we go, this is push back right here. He, but the, you notice that, you know, it's already there. He's tied it up. <laughs> so if you come punch, you use those. Look, you see? Punch again, hey, look. And tie him up right here. <laughs> the, more, the more he got worse, you see? He got tied, and look, look at the looping. <laughs> Shut him up, and here we go, the tight. And come and no gonna work. So it's, it's one way to, to capture the animal with, without 
he I don't know what he's getting out of that. You know, see, even to capture uh, uh, animal, you know, in the wild, boar, deer, even monkey, they cannot bite it. They don't have that enough time to bite it to remove too strong them. Up. Too strong enough. Even a horse cannot get out on this one. Mm. <laughs> so imagine a horsepower, a buffalo, and everybody else. <laughs> so this is used by a Filipino native. And of course, there's more of this. You know, if I'm hearing it right here, because you know, people show how would you use it in, in self-defense and you come out from this side. Look, look at the shot. You know, this is right here. See it? Look. And I'm not gonna be in here. I wanna make sure that I won't hit his head. Right there. You see? Before he can get closer to me, that's it. It's already going to the ground. I let go because I can easily make a root burn. Yeah? And sometimes go from here, shut it, go to the waist, look at that, you see, here we go for the shot right here, look, and that's, this is one of the idea to go from here, and look, if either I turn it this way, or I turn the other way, it's up to me how to follow through, hold it, and transfer it on him, and then, look, so that's, that's the way. And when you're done, then you could also use the same one from here, the same move, you know, the same way. Look, tie them up. It's exactly the same, you know. Not, not to, to mention, look like this is nothing, but mm -hmm. you cannot <laughs> remove it. You know what I mean? And I can release it any time, you know. Look, oh, look at the shot in, you see? And that's what, that's, that's what the whole thing is. You see, once I tie it like that, it's hard. He can even pull it. Yeah? All right. So, same way when we were fighting, you know, whoop, boom, right here. And all I need to do is reach over. You see? Once it's reached over right here, it's done. Look. And that's exactly the same as the rope. You see how you come up? You go from here and you tie them up. That's it, look. See, if I lose that, it will be cut. So there's so many things that, you know, you have to come down the rope. There's so many basic, you know, things from the rope that you can apply to the shirt or anything right here. Sometimes you go from here, you get that look right away, go back out, you know, once you're coming up here, Look, shut, here, shut, here we go. See, let your person attack you really to the thing so you can see it, you know, here. You come up from here, look, here's the shot. Look how we turn it, you see? See, try to, try to pull it. And that's what exactly what I want you guys to see. You know, it's just impossible to, 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 to apply it, but once once I apply it, it's impossible for him to remove it. <laughs> and I push the head on, and I go right here. Oh. What happened? Oh. Hmm. Bubble. <laughs> See? <laughs> you know, go nowhere. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening to this thing. See, quick. If I like to play around, I like to be to be nasty with him, quick him up. You know, come up from here, shot, and turn. Right, you see it? And that's what it is right here. And look at this lock. Yeah, all I need to do is here. And that's a lock. See? Or go to the other side. Both of them's lock. So, it's not necessarily, you know, rope. Capture? Capture it right here. Look what happened. That's it. Push the head on. Voila. <laughs> and look at this, free. <laughs> and I can take him down any time. To break the shoulder if I want. So, something like this, it required time training. It's not just a one day event training. So, Manila rope, a lump high, and this. Uh, Everybody laugh at me because I wear this all the time. They say, why you, you know, look like a, 
uh, movie star. Yeah, I'm a good looking man. What can I say? But this is the same way as a weapon. See? Is your palm coming in here the same way? Nothing is there. I can hit that guy anytime I want it. Right? So the same, the same thing is short. Come up from here. Look. See that lock? Here, same way. Can I remove again? That's it. I can hold it. Same technique. Same oh. way. Look. You know, I can hear. I've already. So if I like, if I like to, if I like the guy to be, uh, to be a little bit things, I go right in the face, <laughs> right in the thing. He don't want to come. <laughs> burn. We burn. Right. That's exactly what happening. That's why he came up here. Look. And that's exactly what I want to do. Tie them up that he cannot remove himself. And then push head. And that's done. All right. So this demonstration is very simple. I would like to just uh, give a little bit of key uh, elements of how we use the rope, use the uh, things. Let me have the rope again. I want to make sure that everybody understand that this is now, this is lubid to our world language, but actually I'm gonna, I would like to change it to name Manila because that's exactly what it's named, Manila rope. Right? You see, when I wear it like this, usually this has not metal, usually a piece of rocks that they push right here and they, they, uh, they tie them up with rattan or a rope itself to make sure it's like that. And you wear it like this. All right? Okay.